Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Mount Tammany Ridge channel. It is an absolutely beautiful morning here on the farm. Um, however, it is not my farm. To those of you who have been following the channel uh, for a while now, uh, probably already know that I do frequently go to other rural property owners' uh, farms, whether it be equine or uh, you know livestock of some sort. Uh, and I do a little bit of uh, property maintenance, you know, things that they just don't have time for or the ability to do uh, any longer. So um, I brought you guys along again today uh, to the one that I'm most frequently at. Uh, so today, more tree removal. Um, you got a fence line along here that continues all the way up to the back. And then, of course, obviously around the other side of the field. But here you could probably see in the camera... Uh, our first nuisance downed tree. Um, I don't know that they use this, uh, I guess this pasture much anymore. Uh, the electric fence, I'm not sure if that is on the, uh, the list of things to do as far as repairs in the future, but um, they do try to, uh, to utilize this every once in a while for I think maybe one of their horses or something. Um, so we got a, get this tree off the fence, uh, whatever left of it anyway, the, I mean the fence, <laughs> it did a pretty good number on it. And then another one, a much bigger tree actually is further down. You could probably just barely see it sticking up um, above the, uh, the hay there. Um, I don't know if uh, you guys know, but when you're watching YouTube, if you've got it on if you actually click on the video instead of going through the main feed, thumbing through it, you can actually zoom in on the video. So like anytime, you know, one of us might be talking about, you know, there being like a, a tree just barely visible on camera right now, you can actually zoom in with your fingertips on the video and you can actually see what it is that I'm pointing at and, and real time under your, under your command. So that's actually a pretty cool thing. Um, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about it. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Um, so, looks like the horses are uh, getting curious as to what's going on over here. They're working their way over slowly. <laughs> so yeah, I think there's three trees here in this field that I gotta deal with. Um, and basically, I'm just gonna be picking them up with the forks and, and big pieces and, uh, you know, discarding them over, over the fence. That's a little bit of a hike. So we're on the, a little bit further down the pasture on the sort of in the middle of the hill. This is actually 
pretty steep drop off here. Uh, there's some rock outcroppings um, along this here. This is actually a rock shelf. If you're not careful, you'll uh, go tumbling down that. Need to stay away from that with the machine for sure. So you can probably see here, this is a heck of a mess. I almost wish I had my excavator instead just because all this tedious stuff I could actually do something about. Hopefully any of these vines, that's a pretty, uh, I don't know, that might kind of be a dead tree too. Um, the, uh, the vines here, um, if they can hold on to this mishmash pile here while I uh, try to pull it away with the skid steer uh, and the forks, uh, if that can kind of stay tangled, I might be able to get these vines to pull out of there. Um, so yeah, we got all this big mess to clean up. Um, and I got that one over there. Uh, like I said, hopefully the vines kind of have a, a hold on the majority of the smalls. That way I don't have to handle too much of it. But um, yeah, so let's get, in, let's get to, to freeing this up from the fence so I can get the bulk of this out of the way and uh, then we'll see what kind of surgery we have.
Well, that was a little bit more like surgery than I was hoping it was going to be. Turns out there's a whole bunch of uh, rocks right underneath that uh, tall grass there. They're kind of all over the place. That's why you see me going slow and the thing's kind of doing the weeble wobble. <laughs> that was uh, more complicated than it was supposed to be. But uh, yeah, this thing's got a hell of a lift capacity. It'll lift up quite a bit of weight. That was a pretty big tree. At the base of that tree was probably, I'd say it's probably uh, 22 inches, somewhere around there. If I had a tape, I'd put a tape on it, but somewhere around there, 20, 22 inches. All right, everybody, I survived it. I'm back. <laughs> so uh, after the uh, four trees that you guys uh, saw me um, removing from the fields, uh, I ended up having another three trees uh, to tend to as well on the other side of the back 40. So um, the uh, the owner uh, was kind of in the background doing his thing on the property. Uh, so I, uh, I made sure to keep them out of the uh, out of the background. So uh, <clears throat> I uh, there was you know some video footage I, I couldn't really put up on the video. Otherwise, uh, there would have been a little bit more, but the video is long enough as it is. Uh, it's somewhere around a half hour, maybe a little less. So uh, <clears throat> I just uh, wanted to pop in here and, you know, say thank you for coming along and hanging out with me uh, out in that beautiful, beautiful farm. Uh, it, I really wish I could show you the rest of uh, the location, you know, more a little bit more about the residence, uh, like the house and the barn and everything um because it really is it is really uh picturesque uh, all all the fields are rolling and they're beautiful and green and very very old uh sections of stone row left uh from back and I, gosh i think i think that place uh was built sometime in the late 1700s or early 1800s something like that uh, it's been there for a very very long time so um Anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, that's going to be it for today. That's all I have for you. Um, I think the next video I do where I'm doing any kind of handling of the chainsaw, uh, I'm going to try to bring my chest harness with me for the GoPro. Um, if you guys could, down in the comments section, let me know how you felt about the video that I posted with me using that thing. Uh, the video that that was, I don't remember the title of it right off the top of my head, but if you go back through <clears throat> my earlier videos, it was one of the ones that I made uh, with sharpening the fence posts with the chainsaw. So, um, yeah. Uh, and of course, you know, there, I'm sure there's other YouTubers that you may have watched uh, over the years uh, that have used a chest harness. Um, my concern is, you know, I, I'm afraid to have a, a first person view on say a helmet or something, because for me personally, I, my stomach can't handle that. Um, you know, if, if, if everybody was, you know, kind of being very, you know, smooth with their head turns and they weren't like in real time, you know, doing the things that, well, you need to do looking around, uh, at the speed that in, in which you need to do it. Um, for me, it makes me queasy in the stomach and I have a real hard time watching videos like that. I wind up having to kind of fast forward through those parts and I wanna to try to avoid that in my videos. Uh, I, I don't wanna make anybody sick or inadvertently cause uh, somebody to have a, uh, an epileptic seizure because that totally would not be uh, funny or uh, good in any way. So, um, yeah, uh, so anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me here on the Mount Tammany Ridge channel. If you could, hit that like button, subscribe, maybe share with some of your friends who are interested in this content, and I will see you guys in the next video.